Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take off. So far, this is how the game is going. Uh, I wasn't recording for the first half of it. Uh, or more so, like, for the first... Yeah, pretty much for the first half. Uh, we're flying the P-51H-5. We are going to see if we can uh, clear out the bombers. They destroyed one of our bases, as you guys can see, the one in the middle is destroyed. I do have two bombs on me right now. I plan on keeping them for now. Always run manual engine controls in simulator, it's very useful. Gears up and flaps are up. Just checking. I'm gonna get rid of the bombs since we don't really have anything to drop them on right now. I mean, there is that base in the north, but I'm not really planning to go up there at the moment. So, instead, we're gonna climb up. I'm gonna put my radiator to 0% for a little bit of time until... Uh, so that we can reduce the drag, therefore climb faster. And if I see that my engine's overheating, I'll open it back up. Properly pitched is at 100%. The enemy is winning. And real quick, sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just gonna go ahead and reduce the volume of my game. Because I feel like you guys can't hear me very well. I haven't tested this out yet. Alright, so my engine's starting to overheat, so I'm going to go ahead and put my radiator uh, up. And up to 100%. I'm at a good enough height. Notice how I'm still wepping, and when I open my radiator to 100%, now it's the water's cooling off. That's pretty cool right there. This is the pros of using manual engine controls. They work wonders. Roughly around 2,000 feet, we can go ahead and do this, supercharger gear 2, uh, not right now, we're not high enough. Uh, the supercharger basically makes your propeller spin faster, uh, it's suitable for high altitude uh, flying. Uh, so for now, we're going to keep it set to gear 1 for lower altitudes, I'm thinking about diving in there, see what I can get. I don't know if there's any enemies in there, but we might as well check. I think that's all friendly, except for that, those two guys right there, and that one down there. Maybe those guys are actually hostile. Let's cut a, let's catch up to them and see what we can do. Radiator down to zero percent, reduce drag. I think that's a uh, friendly. Let's open the radiator back up since we're getting pretty fast over here. It'll help me stabilize my speed. Yeah, this is incredibly fast. 438 knots. Alright, here are some players. We're not going to enroll in a dogfight. What we are going to do is we're going to boom and zoom. And there was a second one. I want to make sure he's not tracking. Yeah, there's that guy. Uh, 
Alright, here we go. Radiator down to zero. He's not gonna live long. Eh, it's a bot, but whatever. A kill's a kill. I'm not gonna bother with that one anymore. We're looking for players. Radiator up. I also use stealth rounds. Uh, the reason I use stealth rounds is because, well, in simulator, people look for two things. Dots moving across the sky and red American tracers. If you use stealth rounds, nobody knows it's you. Oh, and the bot died. Enemy aviators are attacking our base. We must stop them. Alright, I believe this is a good enough altitude to activate our supercharger on gear 2. There it is, gear 2. And see how fast we gain speed now. Is that, is that right? Uh, this is gear 1. Starting to lose speed. Gear 2. Eh, I don't think we're high enough yet. I'm gonna keep in gear 1. Yeah, elevations differ from map to map. If you're talking about sea level, that's a whole different story. Alright, we got a, something down there. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to check it out. It looks like a bomber. Yep, it's a PE-8. For a year. Oh, wow, I can't believe I missed all those. That was a bad approach. No problem. We're just going to climb back up and realign ourselves. This is good. That was sucky. Somebody just flew behind him. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Wow. Must be my birthday. <laughs> it's not. Yep. That I think that's a PE eight. Is it? Yep. Most likely a player. Oh, another one over there. I'm gonna drop my radiator. Checking engine status. Engine's good. I lost sight of that guy though. I have no idea where he went. I think he's dead. I see those parachutes in there. Those are either the one I killed or the guy I just saw. Engine's starting to heat up, so we're getting ready to activate my or open up my radiator one more time. Yeah, oh, I see a guy down there. Uh, when you're in a simulator, you gotta take advantage of everything you have. Radiator, proper other pitch, supercharger, mixture, um, prop feathering, whatever. Alright, I think that's definitely a hostile there. I'm gonna slow down because I'm gonna crash into the ground if I don't. Alright, you all saw how many shots that thing took. I'm pretty sure it's a bot, because if he was a player, he would be tumbling to the ground right now. It's really hard to stay stable in simulator when you have a hole in your wing. I'm gonna let him go, because he's eventually gonna crash. He's not gonna make it far.
Yeah, you gotta learn how to abandon your targets in simulator because sooner or later, oh look at that, sooner or later somebody will see you. Alright, let's aim for those beautiful wings. Radiator off to zero. I'm gonna get above him. And this is 100% the way you should always take out bombers because you need to be fast. You can't be sucking on your thumb trying to stay to their tails. Just like I'm doing right now. Only reason I did that is because I felt confident I could take him there. And even then you shouldn't do it. Consider that my stupid mistake. <coughs> Radiators on zero for now so that we don't apply drag on the plane. We're gonna climb up. I want 10,000 feet minimum. That's another thing, the higher you go up, uh, the easier time your engine has cooling off. Uh, so, you don't need to have your radiator at 100%, like right now if you look at it, it's at 47%, and my engine's still cooling off while I'm wepping. Okay, I'm gonna switch my gear to gear 2, notice how my speed's increasing rapidly. This is gear one. Speed is kind of stable. And now gear two. It starts increasing a little faster. You have to be at a certain altitude in order for gear two to work effectively. Yeah, don't think that just because the supercharger makes your propeller spin faster. Uh, that you're gonna fly faster at lower altitudes. That's not how it works. You need to be at higher altitudes for that to work. That looks awfully Russian. Oh yeah. I believe that's an American plane uh, that killed the Russian right there, so I'm not going to dive on it. Uh, here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it to 16,000 feet and I'm going to, actually you know what, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to climb 16,000 feet, I'm going to allow my engine to cool off uh, really fast. And I want you guys to see this because it's important. When you're in simulator, sometimes your engine gets damaged and you just you can't make it back to base. So what you need to do is you need to climb up, okay, as much as you can. And here's what you do. Propeller pitch down to 0% that decreases the angle of your propeller effectively uh, decreasing drag 
Another thing you need to do is close your radiator completely. The next thing you need to do is activate prop, uh, prop feathering if your plane has it. Uh, and now turn off your engine. This will allow your plane to glide for a very far distance. As you can see, my speed is not decreasing much, but that's because I'm also losing altitude. But the speed is more stable than it would be if I increase my propeller pitch. Okay, see how it's declining. If I decrease my propeller pitch, it helps it. It's only a little bit of help, but it piles up. You know, the help uh, gets stronger and stronger and stronger over time. You can glide, say, five miles, hypothetically. Ten, ten, let's say ten miles. You can glide ten miles uh, with uh, your propeller pitch down to zero and the radiator down to zero. And if you didn't have those things on zero and you had an automatic, you would probably glide half that distance so this is very helpful all right let's turn this thing back on oh yeah to turn it back on you need to put your propeller pitch uh up you can't have it on zero Oh yeah, by the way, uh, your supercharger has to be gear 1 also. <laughs> I actually completely forgot about my supercharger. Okay, let's put it back to 2. I don't know if that was any helpful to you guys, uh, but... If you guys want a more elaborate answer to, or elaborate little tutorial for that, let me know in the comment section and I'll make one. And I did see some tracers down there. Oh, yep, there it is. I'm gonna hit the fast mover just because he's faster. Alright, he looks like he's climbing. Oh, that's not good for him. I think that's an American though. I think it's an F4. I can tell by the texture. Maybe not. Let's approach it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's American. Yeah, he should be. Yep, American. That guy is not American though. That guy right there. We're gonna kill him if he doesn't kill him. And he didn't kill him, so we're gonna kill him. Am I even looking at the... What the... F that was... That was a bit confusing. Did I? Was it just me, or was there a, something like a yak? I thought it looked like a yak from the distance. I guess I missed that detail. Typically, people don't really climb in simulator because they are lazy. Uh, they don't really want to climb. Uh, that's one reason they're lazy another reason also is that um, when you stay low you can see people a lot easier than you would if you were high up because you can see like it's harder to see people against the ground 
like if you're up it's hard to see them top to bottom when they're blending in with the ground but if you're down below you should be able to see any you know dot moving across the sky it's a lot easier to spot them that way so that's another reason people stay low i i stay low a lot of times for the two reasons sometimes i'm lazy sometimes i just want to see people easier wow i actually don't know if any of those bullets hit him uh, okay no big deal we'll come back around for him I do have a hundred and ninety-five bullets, which means some of my cannons are out of bullets already, so... Uh, I really hurt him there. Alright. Radiator down to zero. Let's hit him one last time before we go land. I don't think he's gonna make it too far. All right, pretty sure I hit him there. You know what, I have 64 bullets. I'm gonna empty them. As soon as uh, my guns are empty, I'm RTV. There we go. Alright. I still have 42 of them. And that's the last time I climb up like that just now because I'm losing a lot of energy and if a yak gets on me I will be screwed alright that's it he's not gonna last too long alright ready up oh, there it is dead radiator down to zero and we are speeding off supercharger to one and watch our speed go all right, let me show you. Here's what happens with supercharger on two. Watch the speed. All right, 86, 88, oh shit. Pay attention. All right, now watch what happens with supercharger on one. Watch that speed. It goes up. Here's supercharger on two. Three. It's gonna keep declining. Two. One. And now here's supercharger on one. Two. And then 303. I'm opening my radiator to 100% because I don't want to overheat right now. You see how the speed just skyrockets so what we're gonna do now is we're going to try and support uh, the ground just a little bit so I'm gonna equip some bombs and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and support those guys over there in the ground, the vehicles. This thing can only carry two bombs, so I should only be able to kill one tank, maybe two if they get too close to each other.
Um, I'm gonna use my trim to stabilize my plane a little bit. All right, so we're starting to run into a little problem, and that is fuel. Uh, so what we can do to save fuel is we are going to go ahead and uh, we're going to drop the propeller pitch to about 60%, so that we have a slower fuel rate uh, consumption rate. Nah, I mean it doesn't matter. We're almost here at the base anyway. Pretty sure we can make it to the base just by doing this. There you go. I just put my propeller pitch and radiator down to zero. Let's see how fast I can glide. It's pretty good. I don't want to crash, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I don't do that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and equip the bombs I said I was going to equip. Uh, I didn't realize I had them already, so... Let's get this baby off the ground. Uh I have a dot over there, most likely a bomber. Yeah, it's probably a bomber. So I'm going to go ahead and get close to him and see what happens. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and get rid of him and then I'm gonna support the ground.
flying directly towards us. And these bombs are making it really hard to climb. I'm considering to drop them. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try aim for the cockpit. I don't have time to get up and dive. So I'm gonna try to gain as much speed as I can and aim for the cockpit. He probably already knows I'm here. Alright, one of his gunners. Oh! Those guns! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. He just hit my cockpit a little bit. Oh, another one of these gunners. Crap, come on. I think he's lower gunners out, so I should be fine from the bottom. Oh, crap. All right. Get low. All right, you know, I'm done doing this. All right, that's good enough for me. That's a good demonstration as to why you don't do that. Always go from the top. Dive down, climb up above him, and just do that. I'm gonna drop these bombs and I'm gonna kill him. Problem is that now my pilot is injured. Which unfortunately means that my maneuvering will be a lot slower and the landing will probably be a pain. Let's see how we can handle that situation. And I don't really want to do this, but we're already damaged, so... And I don't want him to kill the base. That's what I don't want. Oh! Oh, too late for that. Oh, nope. He actually didn't make it. Nice. Alright, let's see. We have a hole on our wing. Damaged pilot. Whoa. Those are big holes. All right, let's see. See how slow, I'm actually pulling back on the stick all the way right now. See how slowly it's maneuvering. Oh, asymmetric flap extension. I'm gonna belly land. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to belly land. I don't wanna risk flying too slow. It'd be great if I could see the runway. Ah! That didn't work. I feel like that's kinda BS you though. That, that should have. That should have allowed me to land safely. I was a little bit too fast, but it's not the first time I do that. And it lands just fine. Um, let's go with a premium one. I didn't want to use my flaps because they were pulling to one side, uh, and if my wing would have hit the ground before my belly my wing would have broken and I would have died anyway so moral of the story <laughs> moral uh, yeah don't don't stick to bombers it's a bad idea you can be as good as you want to be he's probably going to 
critically damage you. Every time I play with my squadron mates, I always tell them, don't stick to bombers. They stick to bombers and they die. Sometimes not, but you never know what's gonna happen. And I just did it too, and it happened to me. What I should have done is I should have... So if we go back and we reflect to the moment uh, where we started to fly towards the bomber, I shouldn't have tried to climb up with the bomb. I should have dropped it right off the bat. And and I should have taken more time to climb up. It would have taken me a little longer to kill him, but at least I would have killed him and I wouldn't have died there. Oh, is that a bomber? I think it's American though. I think we're fine. Yeah. Usually when they have two tails, it's an American or a British or something. I see a plane coming from my 10 of, uh, 11 o'clock, right there. You see him, he's flying right over the lake right now. Or the river. Looks like a bomber and it is coming from the enemy spawn, so safe to assume it's enemy. Let's dive on it. What rounds are we Okay, sorry, I was just checking, I'm using stealth. Nope, that's American, or, yeah, P-61. Yeah, it's a P-61. Yep, P-61, it's that guy right there. Oh, I did not, okay, that's fine, that's fine, we're gonna be okay, oh, okay, that was scary though, they're just bots, we should be able to kill them. down. Where's the other one? Well, that was fucking scary. I have no idea what he is. Shit. see two planes over there. Uh, I think he just left. Uh, by the way, negative G's are always uh, really good. 
they work a lot better with players, so people hate negative Gs. One directly in front. I'm gonna let him fly under and then I'm gonna invert. Check my tail. Alright, I just heard something. Okay, that's friendly. I think that's American though, that guy down there. Yep, that's an American shooting at a IL-10. surprised I didn't destroy his tail. I'll tell you something, this 50s, I feel like they have a slight change in simulator because I remember, well, that was the AI, so it's different. AIs are able to just ignore sometimes the damage. Okay, we're gonna climb up again. Uh, however, I do not want to be climbing up in their territory because I will be slow and this is not exactly the P-51 H5, so... I want to enter my zone first. That way I, you know, at least have a higher chance of getting help as opposed to being in their area. I see a bomber. Uh, we're above it, so why not? This could be good. Let's see how much RP we get by the end of this uh, match. There's one time, uh, one game, uh, last night actually, I played a game, I got 131,000 RP. I can show that to you guys actually. Uh, I'm gonna put it at the end of this uh, of this video and maybe that'll encourage some of you who don't play sim to actually play sim. Oh! Look at that. I heard an engine and I'm like, what? Okay. Oh crap. I totally forgot that I have a damaged wing, so I have to be extra careful.
Uh, this is trying to pull in negative G's. Okay. Did he just? Oh no, there he is. What? I'm so confused. Wow. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I... I guess I'll keep flying then. Yeah, I wanna go back and land so I can fix this. But, let's see if we can get that bomber first. I think at this point it's just better to stay down. Actually, that makes no sense. So I'm gonna climb up. I'm not planning to enroll into any dogfights with this plane at the moment, so. I want to climb and do boom and zoom. Uh, it looks like there was one person there approaching me. I think that was a Yak-3. Uh, no, I don't think so. Check my back, make sure there's nobody behind me. eyes on him that is a yak so let's let's make him let's make him climb what in the world oh, okay never mind that's a friendly attacking him wow yeah he actually climbed after me there we go easy kill I like how the model, uh, the damage model says that my left wing is damaged. I don't think so. <laughs> and I look at my right wing. Uh, I don't think that's right. Check my six. Easy way to do that. Uh, do a little zigzag. 
since your back seat is in the way. Uh, if you don't have track IR or VR, uh, you're gonna have to do this zigzagging kind of thing. If you have VR, you can just move to the side. And, well, easy stuff. I think I want to do something with my controls where, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Um, instead of having my flaps, like I have them right here, like this, uh, you know, landing, takeoff, uh, combat. What I'm going to do is the button I used for that, I'm going to use it, for example, if I want to look behind me, I can actually move my pilot to the left so I can look behind me. That way I don't have to do this whole zigzagging kind of thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm using a PS4 controller, by the way, if you guys wondered. Um, I play a lot of DCS, uh, and, well, I use a joystick for that, because in DCS you can't really use a controller, like a PS4 controller. Right now I'm using a PS4 controller, and this game in Simulator is a lot easier with a controller than with a joystick. A lot of people think that they're gonna do a lot better with a joystick. Yeah, yeah, they're not. They're really not. Um, it takes... I mean, you can, but it takes a lot of more practice than it takes with the controller. The controller is a lot easier to control the plane with. Like, what? look, I, I, you, some people think I'm using like a track IR or something. I'm not. This is actually my right stick on the controller, and I'm flying with my left stick. You know, I can look around as much as I want with my right stick and turn as much as I need to with my left. I can do those two things simultaneously, so it effectively removes the need for a VR or a track IR. And I was not paying attention to my temperature, so my engine's a little yellow now, but that's fine. Um, if you guys want to get the... Um, PS4 controller. If you guys are on PC and you want to get a PS4 controller for this, uh, you need to download a small program to emulate uh, the controller. I kind of forgot what it's called. I can look at it. As soon as I land, I'll look at it real quick and I'll let you guys know. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's called uh, DDS uh, Windows or DS4 DualShock. DS for DualShock, DS for Windows, get that, and then you should be able to emulate your PS4 controller with the PC, and it should work perfectly fine. Did my gear just... Oh, for fuck's sakes. Alright, no big deal. We can just put this one down really slowly. It'll work. Just like that. See? I don't know why it didn't work for the... Well, actually, I do know. Uh, we landed a little bit too strong with the P-51H and I was heavily damaged so it was a little bit harder not so much with this one this is a much lighter plane too by the way so it's easier this kind of reminds me landing in my uh, landing on my engines uh, with the ME-262 nobody ever uses um, the actual <laughs> gears with that thing Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, if you guys don't know and want to see this for free, if not, uh, you can skip like a minute forward. So it's right here. Head movement, upward and downward. I don't use that. Head movement left and right. This is what you need to look at. Head movement left and right. So maximum value, I'm going to tell it to do 
right d-pad, minimum value, left d-pad. Um, and I don't want it to stay there. I want it to recenter once I let go of the button. So I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm going to test it in the game real quick. And then my flaps, I need to adjust them real fast. Toggle flaps. No, not toggle flaps. I'm sorry. Flaps down and flaps up. Flaps down is going to be my options button. And flaps up is going to be my share button. There we go. Now I'm going to save that. And now if I look to my side and I do, and, and well, it doesn't work. All right, well, we'll try some other time. Or not. Why doesn't it work? That's weird. I'm gonna have to see that later on in the test flight. Well, okay. Uh, since setting up the head to move left and right didn't really work, I don't know why. I'm gonna have to see that later on. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna crop this part out of the video. Uh, so, I mean that part. So, yeah. What you guys are seeing now is after I cut that part out. Fourteen minutes. I believe that's another bomber. Right there. All my crosshairs. I think that's friendly though because it's it's flying left to right. See if we can find some other large planes to take down.
water is overheating, so radiator is at 100%. Spraying the power down a little bit. Just testing some buttons there guys, sorry. Alright, I see two planes down there, right over there. Let's stick our nose in it. Let's see who is firing what. If you can't see the rounds, they're likely Russian 20 millimeters. Sometimes you can't see them. Oh, look at that. I believe it's a Russian or an American. Usually the silver planes are American. Yeah, I think that's exactly what's going on. Now I am concerned that my speed is very, 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 very high. Okay. Does he know that we're here? That hurt. All right, let's get out of here. I shouldn't have. Eh, I thought I was gonna kill him there. I dumped my energy. I think we should be able to fight him. Oh, of course. All right. I will kill him. There, got his right wing. Come on, tearing you apart. Let's kill that too. Ooh. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. I'm gonna keep him on this window so that I can turn towards him and he's gonna fire that. I'm gonna keep him on this window so that I can see him and at the same time approach him. That way when I'm on top of him I can do a simple drop and take him out. But that's not gonna happen because he's dead. Nice job, uh, JG52 Orbit.
think that's him. Yeah, that's friendly. A really good strategy uh, in taking down planes when you're in a dogfight, and this works for pretty much any plane, even if they're a little better at turning than you are. When you climb up, like when you get into a dogfight with them, and you have enough energy, you need to spiral upwards. If you if you two are circling each other, you need to spiral upwards. If you know that your energy, that your plane has more energy than he does. Um, then you can use as your advantage and do a like like as you're circling each other spiral around and up that's gonna deplete his energy faster than yours I gotta show you guys what I mean if I get into another uh, dog fight oh I see one coming yep Pretty sure that's hostile. And it looks like a Yak 3, given that it's a red plane. And he's engaged in the fight, so might as well dive in now before he kills this guy. <laughs> oh, this he's climbing for him. Yep, that couldn't have been easier. Alright, we are three minutes away from seeing how much RP I will get in this match. What's up? I think he tried to hit me and missed. What is he doing? We have energy, so up we go. All right, all right. What? What is wrong with my aim? That was. That was pretty much embarrassing. Ah, oh, they're just AI. I hate how bouncy the plane is right now. I want to kill him before the game ends. It's like probably a minute before it ends. The reason I'm aiming a little bit to the sides is because I have bullet convergence at 400 meters and by the time the bullets get there, 
they would have already like spread apart. Uh, 50 seconds. No. Come back here. Holy shit. 16 plus 11. 26 kills. I'm sorry, 27 kills. <laughs> Not 26, 27 kills. Let's see how this was. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of RP. I can't even research anything for the Americans. I already have everything. Well, alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a good one.